In the beginning of the movie, we see a girl doing ballet after dance class. She sits in her big car and goes towards her mansion. And at this time we notice that six people were keeping an eye on this girl named Abigail. They follow the car and enter Abigail's house, after which these people have made her unconscious by injecting her. But the real mission was to get her out of here. After arriving at Abigail's dad's house, these people were about to be caught. But they don't come to an old mansion. After kidnapping Abigail, where the mastermind of this kidnapping, Lambert was already feeding them. He had planned that instead of kidnapping Abigail, he will ask for $50 million from her rich dad. After getting the money, he will give them their share. But till then, this group of six people to keep Abigail tied up in this mansion. After kidnapping, Abigail's security is also his responsibility. Most importantly, Lambert tells them that there is a rule here. No one will tell anyone their real name. Everyone will use fake names to call each other, which Lambert has given them. Lambert had also taken their phones, so that the police can't track them. Before leaving, he gives them one last instruction, that Abigail's eyes will be blindfolded. No one will go to her room other than Joy. She shouldn't know how many people kidnapped her. Lambert didn't tell them yet, that whose daughter Abigail is. They only knew that Abigail's dad is a millionaire. After Lambert's death, these people start guessing about each other. Joe is good at recognizing people. She calls Frank a police detective. It was 100% correct. The girl sitting in front of her was a hacker. She didn't lack money by hacking people's accounts. You just chose this mission for thrill. This must clear man. At last, sniper. After hearing all this, Joy goes to Abigail's room and removes the blindfolds. He broke Lambert's rule. To relax her, she promises Pink that she won't hurt her. And won't let anyone hurt her. They bond well. Joy says, Abigail, I have a son like you. Abigail didn't like this. He says, you must love your son. But my dad is weird, angry, dangerous. He doesn't love me as much as he used to. Abigail warns him. That something bad is going to happen tonight. Joy finds this weird. He says, I think Abigail's dad is a dangerous person. After all, we did the tapping. We should know whose daughter we kidnapped. Frank goes to Abigail's room, asks her dad's name. After hearing Abigail's dad's name, he starts to freak out because he doesn't believe that he kidnapped a very big gangster's daughter. He tells this to everyone and everyone is shocked. Frank shares his experience. Once, three officers worked against this gangster. After that, the three officers started to live threats. For their safety, they were kept in the safest room. There was 24 by 7 security in front of the room, and there were only two ways to enter the room. Window and one door. It was impossible to enter through the window. When the door was opened in the morning, three officers were found dead. This could give him a clue. Everyone here was terrified. Up for the driver. After a while, he goes to the basement, sees that someone has attacked him, he shouts loudly and the hacker hears his scream. He goes to check, sees that someone has slit the driver's throat. He comes back to him and tells him that we are under attack. Says, I don't want money, I am running away. As soon as he and Frank try to get out of this mansion, Van's security system is activated. Metal shields are placed in front of the windows and doors, which means that these people are trapped here. These people also knew that there is a killer in the building who is going to kill them. That's why these people are alert. Joey asks Abigail if she knows anything about these attacks. Abigail tells her that Frank is my dad's man. Abigail says, I don't want to tell anyone about this. As soon as she hears this, she gets angry. Before she goes to Frank, she turns around and sees that the sniper has been murdered. He was treated so badly that his face was torn. Joey gets even more scared and puts Frank at the gunpoint. Frank tries to make her understand that. That girl is playing games with us. She is lying, but Joey was not going to believe her. Abigail was scared, she was also taking off her handcuffs. The next second, she had turned into a vampire. Seeing her, these people get scared. Frank shoots her, but Abigail heals herself. Seeing this, everyone got scared. They come out and lock her in her room. Seeing Abigail, they understood a lot of mysteries. That not only Abigail, her dad is also a vampire. That's why everyone is scared of him. And all the killings that have happened so far. All done by Abigail.
If they wanted to stay alive, they had to kill Abigail. Someone grabs garlic, someone makes sharp-edged weapons, to kill this vampire, that is, Abigail. But Joey is not supporting all of them in this. He believes that if we want to live, we should not deal with Abigail. Anyway, they don't pay attention to him. They open up Joey and Abigail's room. Where Abigail was dancing with the dead body of a sniper, they attack Abigail from behind. Abigail herself attacks them. Abigail and Cross have no effect on her. With difficulty, they save their lives and run out of Abigail's room. Joey advises them that we should use the injection to make Abigail unconscious. She was already unconscious from it. They start running, but it was not easy for Abigail to get into their hands. Abigail was still on everyone's nerves, but that gangster of their group just to catch Abigail from behind. Joey gives her the injection to make her unconscious. In all this chaos, Abigail was also cut by a colleague. Everyone was afraid that girl would also become a vampire. Then it turns out that when Abigail regained consciousness, she found herself in jail. Talk to Abigail and ask her what she wants. And here they find out the most dangerous fact. That actually they didn't kidnap Abigail. Abigail kidnapped them. This was Abigail's plan and Lambert worked for Abigail. Look, even though Abigail is a little girl, but she has been living in this world for 100 years, she tells them that you are here because somehow harmed my dad. This hacker hacked Abigail's dad's account, stole millions of dollars from him. Frank investigated his dad, Joey, who was a military doctor, did a wrong operation on Abigail's dad under the influence of drugs, which hurt his dad a lot. After hearing this, Joey tells him that he knows that your dad doesn't love you anymore. He won't even look at you. After all this, they all decide to leave. To get out of here, they had to find a way out. The job of the three of them and Frank is to keep an eye on Abigail. After all this, Abigail makes a deal with Frank. She tells him that you get me out of here. I will leave you alive and eat everyone else. After all this, Frank asks him the way out of this building. Joey tells him that there is a book in the library, which will deactivate all the security systems. After hearing this, Frank breaks Abigail's deal and tells his partners the way out. Anger, Abigail breaks her cage and attacks him. He was about to kill Frank. At the right time, Joey breaks a window. It was morning in Abigail's hand. Hit by a bomb, Abigail hides in a dark place. Kill herself. A while, they were separated from Abigail. Because the sun was shining. No matter how long they stayed here, they had to face Abigail. They had to find a way out. And they try to find a way out. Abigail starts controlling her mind. She had cut her powers. Abigail turns this girl into a vampire. And first of all, she orders her partner to kill her. On her orders, this girl had already done this. Aishi had already killed her partner, Joey, who was watching all this from a distance. Before she could kill Joey, Joey reflects sunlight on this girl through a mirror. As soon as the sunlight hits her, it explodes like a bomb. Everyone was killed except Frank and Joey. Frank goes to the library. It's help from Abigail's book. There was a control room inside. He can see Lambert sitting. He shoots Lambert without wasting time. Lambert heals himself. Lambert remembers that two years ago, he was turned into a vampire. Since then he has been working for Abigail. He catches every person for Abigail. He's harmed Abigail's father. To that, Abigail manipulates people in this mansion. Emotionally plays with them, kills them, satisfies herself. Lambert was also tired of working for Abigail. He wanted Frank's support. He wanted Frank's support in such a way that he would first kill Frank and turn him into a vampire. After that, they would kill Abigail. And Abigail's father, the biggest gangster in the world, that he would own everything. Frank didn't mind his offer. Frank agrees to it. As soon as he turns into a vampire, stabs Lambert in the heart, kills him. Lambert's plan wanted to take all of Abigail's father's wealth. Frank was feeling that he has become very strong. All the wounds on his body killed themselves. Or he goes to kill Abigail. Gail and Lambert fight. Gail was now struggling to fight Frank because Frank was bigger than her. On the other hand, we were seeing Joey convinced that she would not survive. He runs away from here to call his daughter. She was just calling that Frank attacks her from behind. He kills her, tortures her but doesn't eat her. As a result, Joey becomes a vampire. 
Meanwhile, Abigail comes here. Turns Joey into a vampire. Kills with him to kill Frank. It's like Frank dealt with Lambert to kill Abigail. But there was a twist in the story. He became a vampire because of Frank's stabbing. So Frank could control him. He orders him to kill Abigail. Abigail kills Frank by stabbing him. Weapon. Was also killed like the first vampires. Now the survivors were Abigail and Joey. It was Joey's turn to die but Abigail didn't kill him. Because Joey already had a good relationship with Abigail. That's why Abigail was bonding with Joey. She says to Joey, you are free. You can go from here. Be a vampire after you die. The vampire you were because of the vampire stabbing is dead now. Be a human like before. Joey was going to run away from here. Meanwhile, Abigail's dad enters. He got his dinner for free. Gail stops her dad and says, You won't eat him. He saved my life. Joey agreed with Abigail. Tells Abigail to leave. He runs away. See him living a normal life. This is the end of the film.